Extra Minutes. This happened in one of those, can I say it, boring, nondescript suburbs of Canberra, leafy and quiet with maybe nothing but the sound of wind in the trees or, or uh, the magpies, uh, a place where you wouldn't expect a foul murder. We're looking at this story, um, interestingly enough, because the police want us to look at it. New science and new technology now allows a forensic detective to time travel, as it were, back into the past and collect the evidence that's been stored in warehouses, in cold case warehouses, collect that and retrieve it, as it were, back into the present and apply the amazing powers of new science, in particular DNA technology. Well, there's a huge number of cases stacked up here. Thousands of investigations, uh, some are unsolved, others are, are waiting prosecution. Evidence of crimes up to half a century old sit in this Australia Federal Police warehouse. And it's here where the cold case of Irma Palaksic's murder collected dust for 13 years until two years ago when Detective Jared Dunbar resurrected it. Our systems are getting so much more sensitive, so we're pulling DNA off things that never, that previously you could never get DNA from. So it's only becoming more sensitive. After more than a decade, we can reasonably assume that the killer was starting to feel fairly relaxed. He thought he'd got away with it, that he'd got away with murder. But here in the forensic science lab, it's an entirely different story because the long arm of the law is able to reach back into the past. With old evidence and new science, the cold case is warming. Now the interesting thing, of course, is there's a $500,000 reward. That's a lot of money for anyone who can come forward with information that leads to a conviction of the killer of Irma. One of these young men that we see on the closed circuit television footage is the son of the murderer. The interesting thing is, would you give up your criminal murderer father for 500,000? But of course, each of the kids, one assumes, will think, well, it couldn't have been my dad. He wouldn't do anything like that, so it must be one of the others, so I'll just take the money, thank you. For criminals out there, the truth is, you might think you got away with it, but no one is safe.